I have another unboxing from All Beauty. My kids are not in school, so you will have to forgive the noise. Oh, okay. Oh, Stash Privé, Sarah Jessica Parker. Awesome. And a big bottle of Stash, Sarah Jessica Parker. I am so excited about trying um, this stash SJP, uh, stash Privé, and that's because I bought a stash um, for Sarah Jessica Parker, and I loved it. Oh my days, I loved it. It wasn't love at first sniff when I tried it on the paper, and that's because it's got such a powerful opening, but when I had it on my skin, Oh my days, I loved it and it is such a beast of a perfume. It was on me right up until about 13 hours later because I'm an early riser and I go to sleep a little bit late, about 9 or 10 o'clock, but I wake up around 6 a.m. And it was still on me and it smelled so good. So I was just like, oh my days, I need to make sure that I've got a backup of this perfume because I love it. It's unlike anything I've ever smelled before. And then I found out that there's flankers within the stash line and one of them was uh, this one called Privé. So it's a pink bottle. Pink is one of my favorite colors. So I was like, I am going to buy this uh, stash Privé. And when I looked at the notes profile, it looked like something that I would enjoy. So it's got quince and I like quince. They remind me of um, my aunt-in-law, as in my husband's aunt. And she had a beautiful orchard and she had some quince trees in there. And when the quince uh, fruit was ripening it was just so beautiful and every time we would visit her she would give us some to bring home with us uh, and that would normally be in the summer and we'd have this uh, bowl of quince fruit for several weeks and the house would just be filled with this beautiful quince fruit and so I was immediately like quince all my days and this is the first fragrance that I've come across that has got quince um, in it it's also got grapefruit and pink pepper uh, for the middle note, it has sage, which made me feel uh, just a little bit, because uh, I have a herb garden as well, and sage is one of my least favorite herbs. Um, yeah, I don't even use it for stuffing, uh, for the uh, stuffing for turkey. So I was a little bit like, mm, but I'm just going to give it a try anyway, because I'm new to my perfume journey and I need to be open-minded. <laughs> And then it's got uh, Tunisian orange blossom. I love orange blossom. And then for the base notes, it's got birch, um, Haitian vetiver, and musk. So I'm expecting it to be more dry um, because of those base notes um, and because of the musk. So I'm going to try some of this. On I love the bottle. Um, so I didn't like the bottle of stash when I first saw it, but the fragrance made me change my mind. I love the fragrance so much because... It is such a banging fragrance. It's such a banging price. And so I love the bottle now, you know. It's like the fragrance, you know, the juice was good enough for me to get past what I thought was an unattractive bottle design. But here we go. Let's see what we have here. So the atomizer on this, it is so good. Great control. Absolutely great control. Um, with this. So what do we have? Ah, oh, my days. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. It's light. It's elegant. Ah, oh, so you know, I read that this perfume is similar to Chanson Tendre. And 
one of the first perfumes that I ever tried, um, I went to Debenhams and the Dior counter was just right by the door as you enter. And I was like, I'm going to try some Dior's. And, um, but I quickly got overwhelmed because that was my first time in a perf in the perfume area of a uh, thingy shop. And so I tried uh, Chan Sautange on a card and I still have the card actually, I kept the card. And I can definitely see why people say that this smell similar. It's very light mm. and fresh. It's fruity, fresh, elegant, and light. I love it. Mm. I would definitely be wearing this probably in spring or summer. Ah, oh, do you know? I think I'm going to try and get more Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes. Absolutely, because I am loving this. I wasn't a big fan of Sex in the City though. Didn't like it, sorry. And I thought the movies were even worse. But when it comes to perfumes, I think Ms. Sarah Jessica Parker knows what she's doing. Certainly for a beginner like me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. I love it. So this is the Stash Privé. I'm going to try this on my skin and I'll let you know how I get on with it. But hopefully it's as good as its sister, Stash. And... You know, the only way that it could fail me now is if it's got like really, really poor, poor longevity on me. But I love it. Very excited to be trying this on my skin. Oh, I just noticed that the lid is matching my new nail polish. I love it when everything comes together like that. The other one in the range is called Unspoken. And I'm going to try and get my greedy little hands uh, on that. I do like the idea of having a line of perfumes that I've got the flankers for. I quite like that idea very much. And if the perfumes are anything like the two that I already have, I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, so... That's me today with uh, the Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes. So this is kind of like my backup big bottle. I've got a 30 ml that I tried and I loved it so much. I was just like, I'm just going to make sure that I have this because I read somewhere that this has been discontinued. And the last thing I want is to <laughs> not be able to get that. And we've got Stash Privé. And coming soon, I hope, will be Stash Unspoken. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do smash that subscribe button and join along this uh, perfume madness, addiction, etc. You know, um, yeah. Until I see you next time. Bye from H Loves Fragrances. <laughs>